good afternoon to all Minecraft veterans and North Carolinians alike. It is I, your lord, the King Pug Gaming, and welcome back to episode 15 of North Carolina in Minecraft. And yes, I am well aware that you can see there's something different about me. This time I'm wearing full diamond armor and not full netherite armor anymore. Now you're wondering. What, what happened, happened to you? you? Why are you, you wearing, wearing diamond, diamond armor now? Ah, uh, funny story. Earlier off camera, I was trying to get a lot more EXP, and unfortunately, a lot of creepers spawned, blew up my stuff, and I tried to search for it, and I remembered that the creeper destroyed it in its explosion, so yeah, that's why it's all gone. And the only thing netherite that survived was my netherite sword. Actually, no, it didn't. But luckily I had a spare, otherwise there wouldn't have been no amazing netherite sword. So I've actually made a declaration to myself that, that I will never, ever go back into the nether again because it's like politics. It's bad. Yeah, really bad. That's why I am never going back into the nether ever again. Not even to farm for EXP. So what I plan to do today is to take things a lot more nicer and calmer by starting to build some structures from Raleigh and Winston Salem. I'll get to the Durham thing off camera. But right now I just want to go to my harbor in an uncompleted beach house and just, you know, fish for some stuff. Hopefully I can get something pretty good that can help me later on. Maybe I can find a couple drowns, kill them, and get their trident. That would be good. Alright, now it's time to fish and remain one of the greatest anglers ever in the series so far. Best relaxation time ever! Comes night. Yeah, I could. Hmm, so calm right now. Everything's better than when I was back in the freaking political nether. That place sucks. Yeah, true North Carolinians don't fear anything. All we fear are politics. Yeah, a lot of Americans don't like politics, just like me and other countries in the world. Wait, I remember that from this chest I got quite a few enchantment books. Sharpness 3, Frost Walker 2, Efficiency 4, Power 4, Sharpness 3, Loyalty 3, Good for Tridents, Quick Charge 1, Efficiency 3. Yeah, I got quite a few of these. Hey there, Creeper. I'm here. As soon as this calms down, prepare to be slain. I really miss my knockback sword. It was so good against Creepers. But since I'm at level 5, netherite sword, prepare to be strengthened. Yes, sharpness 4. Always solves big problems. An intruder! From the politics realm! Okay, okay this is the highest priority that must die already. already! Eh, nice. I love sharpness. It's not as good as smite, but... It's definitely powerful. Well, now it's time to go for my stone farm, so that way I can get a lot more cobblestone for my build, so that way I won't run out of it, in case if I'm actually close to running out. Hello. Welcome to my functional cobblestone farm. This is where I get all of the stone I need for the builds. And yes, this works. Despite the fact that monsters can't spawn down here, but hey, the situation could easily be taken care of without me dying. And yes, I also find a lot of ore here as well. So this is also useful for me whenever I need to get EXP, especially from coal. I'd use my iron pickaxe, but look at the about a time it has left before it breaks. Eh, I'm not gonna use it. <sighs> this makes me feel really relaxed. It almost makes me completely forget, forget about, about that scumbag po political oh, nether realm. Okay, I think I got enough cobblestone for now. Now here's my way out. Ooh, oh, I love doing that every single time I'm done farming for cobblestone. So now I am gonna start constructing the tallest building from Winston Salem. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, not too hard. I'm not from there, but I definitely know what it looks like cuz we got the internet for that stuff now. We we don't have to depend on others for that. Nah, we don't. We we got the internet for everything. 
Except for planning homicidal murders. You don't have that on the internet. No one should ever think about doing that, ever. On the internet. Hey, Minecraft music, good timing. Thank you for stopping me from talking about a lot of dark stuff. See, I'm only building it like this because this is my own North Carolina. I'm building it in my own image. Any Minecrafter can build anything in their own image and it will turn out great. There's no doubt about it. Hang on. This floor doesn't seem right. So, let's fix that. So, what I plan on doing for this building is to make it at least a couple stories high. Which is basically levels. In architecture, that is. Yeah. So, I'm gonna make it a couple stories high for the first square section. And then, I'm gonna switch it to another section of layers. So, that way... It won't be too hard to tell the other apart, so once I'm done doing that, I will put a glass dome on the top that is going to be completely circular that will slowly rise upward like a bulge in the ground made out of water or a lava dome coming out of a volcano like Mount St. Helens. Yeah, just like that. Perfect plan. This is the greatest plan! Well, this was unexpected. Apparently I made the height of every single block that's supposed to make a two foot tall window too short. But that doesn't matter. I can easily fix that just by taking off the one block that I accidentally placed where the window is, is supposed to be. There we go, all fixed. So that's one layer done of a complete square. Now, two left to go. So good at that. Yeah, I am. Well, I guess it's time for some most for some more stone farming. Not a big deal at all. <sighs> more Minecraft music. It's perfect, especially for my current situation. Okay, I think I got enough cobblestone. I just hope it's not. Outside. Oh crap! Or should I say? Well, yes! More EXP for me! Now, of course, if you see this for yourself after you download it once I finish this series, you're gonna notice that in this building the windows will be slightly, slightly different than normal. Well, that's the thing with the building in Winston-Salem. The building's windows were placed differently as they were separated into different stories, so that's why they're gonna be different once you see it. I finished building it, and after this series is officially over, but when that does happen, I'm gonna miss this a lot, because I loved building these things. But what I hate about it is that it took incredibly long for me to build just one building. <sighs> That's what sucks. It takes hours to complete one whole project. So the last story was 12 was actually four floors high, so I'm gonna make this one three, and then go down to two once we're actually at the dome part of the building, like in real life. It's actually possible that this will actually be taller than the thing from Greensboro, but I'm just not sure. Story number two is done. Now to the last one. There we go, last story done. But now I'll figure the rest of this stuff out off camera, especially with the dome part. But yeah, looks good. I gotta get down there quick before the water disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Wow. This thing actually looks a bit taller than I thought it would be. This could actually be taller from the thing from Greensboro and the mini Duke Energy Tower from Charlotte. Now it's time to get some more cobblestone and start working on the thing from Raleigh, the RNC Center, the tallest building in downtown Raleigh. 
I'm not talking about the one from Pittsburgh. I'm talking about the one from Raw League. I've said Raw League like five times already. Raw League! My favorite part of every day. Mining some stone. Wait, I remembered. I can now fix my enchanted iron pickaxe. So now I can break stone even faster. So, let's go do that. Sorry enchantment levels, you're gonna be brought back down to zero, but you'll rise up rapidly. Like always. Yes, this is definitely faster. This is why I call this the stone breaker slash the netherrack destroyer. It was the netherrack destroyer until I made a proposal to never go back to that dark and twisted political place ever again. And I mean it. Now I'm actually thinking that the Raleigh building will take a bit longer to build because... The base of it's a rectangle, and there's an antenna right at the top as a square. Well, it's still a rectangle, but it's not diagonal, it's vertical. So what I'm gonna do to start working on this building is turn all of the glass here into cobblestone. So that way, if a guest ever thinks about leaving the nether politic realm and tries to fireball me in here, the ground won't break because cobblestone is strong against gas fireballs, and it can't be destroyed by it. Unless it gets blown up by the winter. There we go. Floor all done. And this is actually quite coincidental for me to build some stuff like this because I'm actually wearing a Jacksonville, North Carolina hoodie right now as I'm playing this game. Building stuff from Winston-Salem and Raleigh. Yeah. I make myself have a good time by wearing that exact hoodie that I love a lot. What? I just came up with a new plan. For the VNC building from Raleigh, I'm gonna work on the half point of this first because it's the taller section of the building with the antenna spire being at the very far left in a square pattern but except extending up like a rectangle so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna start working on the shorter one later whenever I have a lot of spare time whenever I'm done editing this video which wouldn't be too long, right? No. No, it wouldn't take too long to edit this. Just put some music, some clips, and everything else. Good. Hi there, Creeper. Here to observe me building this thing? Yeah. It's gonna take a while. But thanks for dropping in. Before you explode, I'll be sure to place a water bucket down. So that way, this place will sustain no damage. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do once I drop back down if I run out of cobblestone. If I ever do. Actually... I have a better idea. Four stories tall on this side, two stories tall on down there. No, I'm gonna make it six stories tall right here and three stories tall down there. And then the spire of the building will be about more than 18 blocks tall? I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm out of cobblestone. Duh, crap, I messed up again. Easy fix. Yeah, this won't be too bad to fix. Yeah. Too easy for me to fix. And done with the cobblestone farming. Well, this is definitely gonna take quite a while for me to finish up. I already got the spire started, but I actually wanna put a fence on there or a stone wall on there to make it actually look like a real spire. Oh, hi there, baby zombie. <laughs> that was unexpected, but hey. I lived. So now it's like every day whenever I walk out of my Minecraft house, the only thing I'm gonna see in the distance that's not a Christmas tree, unless if I keep moving to the right, is the thing from Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and Raleigh. And that's what I like to see. Super tall skyscrapers. Yeah. For the record, I was not born and raised in Charlotte, because if I was, then I would have enjoyed seeing a lot of skyscrapers in a single downtown area. But since I wasn't, I kind of get to enjoy it even more, because I've seen skyscrapers of quite big cities before, like Atlanta and Charlotte, and they are magnificent, especially those in Richmond, Virginia. But yeah, unlike the building I have done for every, every city in North Carolina, the Redstone one and the Greensboro Tower, I am not going to put anything inside of it, so that way no monsters can spawn inside, because if I allow that, then I could get a lot more EXP. And that's why I didn't do it this time, because I'm all like, ah, I can do it this way! This will save me a lot of valiant time and effort in order to build this thing. And yeah, turns out, I was right. This should be the last stone block. Yeah, 
That looks like plenty of cobblestone. Now, it's time to finish this building once and for all. Well, for this, I'm being quite a nice guy because I'm skipping every single building clip for y'all. So, most of the time, I'm always back in a couple seconds. But for me, this will always take a thousand years. Well, would you look at that? I finally finished building this thing, and Jesus, it's so freaking tall! This kind of went above my expectations for the PNC building or whatever it's called at Rally. But yeah, it's pretty tall. But yeah, this may not look like the exact same building that you see in Raleigh, but hey, it's a replica. I'm not from Raleigh, so I don't know the exact details of the building because I've never went into downtown Raleigh or even seen it ever before. And goodbye. Oh, hi, Phantoms. Good to see you again. Goodbye. Okay. I can't aim right now. Gotcha. Nice shot. Oh, I missed. Okay, now for today's outro. I actually feel like standing right next to my work in progress skyscrapers right now. But yeah, it's safe to say I did quite an amazing job building all of these skyscrapers. I am so proud of myself. Look at them. They are magnificent. So now, I hope y'all have enjoyed watching me lose my sanity. And as always, thanks for watching y'all. Have a nice day, and stay pug tastic Yeah, stay pug y'all. You heard me. <laughs>